If a breaker fails to isolate the fault, which breaker should operate next? A. Upstream breaker. B. Downstream breaker. C. Breaker present on the same bus. Time's up. The answer is A. If a breaker fails to operate, then the next upstream breaker should operate. Why do we need to coordinate the protection devices? A. To limit the area affected by fault. B. To protect equipment. C. No particular reason. Time's up. The answer is A. We need to coordinate the protection devices in order to prevent useless tripping so that the minimum region of the system gets isolated. For proper coordination of protection devices, upstream breaker should be of A. Equal rating as of the downstream breaker. B. Lower rating than the downstream breaker. C. Higher rating than the downstream breaker. Time's up. The answer is C. Upstream breaker should be of higher value. The reference for breaker sizing should be A. Upstream breakers. B. Downstream breakers. C. Both. Time's up. The answer is C. For breaker sizing, both upstream and downstream breakers should be considered so the proper coordination between the breakers can be achieved. Why can't we use definite time relays for protection of power system? A. Upstream breaker needs quick trip time. B. Downstream breaker needs quick trip time. C. Both. Time's up. The answer is A. Definite time relay causes a delay before tripping, but upstream breakers need quick trip time due to greater fault current value. What is the relation between current and time in definite time relay? A. Inverse. B. Direct. C. None. Time's up. The answer is C. A definite time is set so there is no relation, just a constant value is fixed. Why do we need inverse time relay? A. It isolates the fault instantly. B. It maintains coordination along with adjusting the trip time according to the fault current. C. None. Time's up. The answer is B. It isolates the fault according to fault current value along with maintaining coordination with other protection devices. What type of relay has inverse relation between current and time? A. Definite time relay. B. Instantaneous relay. C. Inverse time relay. Time's up. The answer is C. Inverse time relay. Why is the upstream breaker curve set for higher current and time values as compared to the downstream breaker? A. To incorporate the timing of downstream breaker. B. Because fault current increases towards upstream. C. Both. Time's up. The answer is C. Because value of fault current increases when we move towards the source side, and it also needs to maintain coordination by giving enough time for the downstream breaker to operate. Which parameter shifts the trip time curve on x-axis? A. Time. B. Current. C. Voltage. Time's up. The answer is B. Current is independent variable as trip time depends on magnitude of current. So changing the current value would shift the curve on the x-axis. Time of trip shifts the trip time curve on A. X-axis. B. Y-axis. Or C. No change. Time's up. The answer is B. Time is dependent on magnitude of fault current, so it is on y-axis. 
hence shifts the curve on the same axis. Why do we need different trip time for breakers present in different regions, even for extremely high fault current values? A. To make the system reliable. B. To prevent power outage of a greater region. C. To allow downstream region to isolate the fault first. Time's up. The answer is C. Upstream breakers need to wait for downstream breakers to operate. Hence, we need different trip times. What's the difference between thermal magnetic relay time curve and electronic relay time curve? A. Trip time. B. Short trip region. C. Time of operation. Time's up. The answer is B. Electronic relay is more flexible and allows more settings to be adjusted according to system requirement. Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates on whenever we post new content. Thank you and see you next time.